Hi, welcome back to another episode of Musicology. This is Tom McHugh speaking. And yes, I am in my comfy gear. I'm not trying to look hip, but I'm trying to be cosy and warm because it is really going to be cold and everything else. So today, guys, we have got a artist review today and the artist review for who just performed Leeds and Reading and the band is my absolute most favourite of all time that I'm trying not to listen a couple of times because they are absolutely amazing but I don't want to get bored of them I've do, done that with plenty of artists and I got sadly got bored of them but I still enjoy their music so much and today guys we are reviewing Pale Waves. I went to see them live. They are from Manchester. They are indie pop and they're just absolutely brilliant. And if I have to do a little bit of a concert review, I will do. Their concert is so good. The lighting effects were just amazing and everything else. And it fits so well with their lyrics and everything. It's just, oh, powerful. I absolutely love Pale Ways Lives and I would definitely go see them live again, see what they like. So today, guys, let's do a, out, a discography. So the, they're from their first album back in 2018. Bloody hell, they've been going around for a long time. Their, art, their first album is... My Mind Makes Noises in 2018. I did not forget. Who Am I in 2021? And their newest album, Unwanted 2022. <sighs> their album is, albums are, you know, with Pale Waves, they're just so brilliant. Let's crack on with their first one, My Mind Makes Noises. I absolutely love the album. I have, have no, no, no regrets about them, except they're just pure magic. They're just a great band to listen to. They, I love the whole album. I love the whole indie pop vibe. It gives me that nice comfy vibe. If you listen it in the autumn time or during Christmas, it gives you that essence of comfort and everything. It's just that music and the lyrics are just so powerful. Eight, like my, like it has the indie rock vibes blending in with the pop, which just fits so much well. I just loved it so much. I love these are the tracks I like. I love eighteen. There's a honey noises and came in close because. The start because of the style of indie pop, indie pop and rock, it just blends so much well together and it just mix it up like a comfy blanket as well. And it's just so nice to listen to. I really do like listening to Pale Waves live. They're just amazing, an amazing, amazing band. And Television Romance, my anthem, my only track I listen to. I listened to that on repeat several times and Spotify actually says that's your that's your record that you have been listening to a lot then. And I just like, I love them. I really do love them. I really like, I really love that, love that album. It's my favourite album of all time. And I did get a chance to meet them, but I missed the date. Really did miss the date, but I was... I think I was in Norwich when they kept, came down, so kind of missed them anyway. But I'm going to Birmingham to film and Comic Con Collectimalia so I can get a chance to meet Vinnie Jones and Jodie Whittaker. Oh, sorry, I had to lash that out because I am going to Birmingham. I might do a vlog there, so if you want a vlog, I'll do a vlog. I might try and get Jodie Whittaker if I get a chance to meet her and everything, but... Let's see, let's see. I am getting a chance to meet her anyway. So, anyway, let's crack on to their second album, Who, Who Am I? Their music has really changed on there. It's changed from 
being indie pop and rock and all squeaky nice to more of the heavier stuff like it reminded me a little bit like um 90s rock as well a little bit of a 90s rock vibe in there which is sound good i really like the track it like it sounds so satisfying to listen to their their music is known for being very satisfying change she's my religion are 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 both my most favorite i absolutely adore those two tracks i love the the 90s vibe they brought in and everything else and and he just gives out a true essence like i'm not a very into political correctness but she's my religion is actually a love story between the lead singer because she talks about her girlfriend a lot and and she, how much she loves her so dearly so it's like a little love story love story between them two them two and it's just so beautiful i love i love that song i really enjoy you don't own me because that is a personal favorite of mine i used to have friendships who used to control me um and everything else it was just like people trying to control me and it's you it got to the point where it just makes me feel like being really unhealthy and everything else like that's just like during college time like no one controls me now when i'm at uni but during college time i had people used to control me and all sorts and every when that track came up i actually say you don't own me i'm my own person i can do whatever i want and that is just like a real good positivity song they're really good with motivation tracks now we get to their last album the title track unwanted was actually really good I'm not gonna lie it is really good they really changed it since then they really changed it all since then so it's like it's not all um it's not it's not all just indie now it's they i think they've managed to put that away now and it's more rock really a really good rock um yeah so like like i said it changed us to more rock the title track on wanted is very upbeating i've really enjoyed that the hard way and alone are my most favorite tracks on the album i really like the balance between what they were doing they're trying to do less of the indie and more of the rock and i lo love that little balance because it gives out like a good vibe because normally people get bored with the same genre all the time and it can get a little bit boring at times like i would get bored with like even hearing it overall um great band and i would definitely try and go and see them and they're just absolutely a sensational group and everything else. So that's why I love it. Lo love them so much. And thank you for watching. Um, make sure you give this video a like and a, a like with a, the big thumbs up. And comment down below if you've got any um, indie pop groups that I should listen to. Like give me a, like a list and everything. I've been always asking on my videos so I can try and do more videos and everything else like at the moment i'm still carrying on with the series of leeds and reading trying to get to the very bottom which is the introduction side and just get them all soak up and ready before i listen to the artec monkeys and 1975 and also also because i did promise before and if i couldn't get it get them get them up soon um, now I mentioned 1975, they are doing a tour. They just announced it last night. I'm going to try and get my tickets. I'm going to try and go see them because they're my favourite group of all time. So I will be getting my tickets to go see them live. Uh, they are performing in January. Um, this is the tour, tour set as well. This is where they're coming in the UK. So make sure you book your tickets and everything else. They are absolutely incredible. I wish I shouldn't mention it right now because a lot of people will go and get their tickets and then suddenly it's sold out. And I'm like, what? I wish I shouldn't mention that. I'm an idiot. <laughs> but I would get my ticket. I am I want to see the 1975. They're my favourite band of all time. And I just love them. Thank you for watching. And I see you in the next video.
stay in tune. Boom!